homeless. I did a show on the Disney Wonder. 2,200 passengers, 1,300 children. Free soda. The ship doesn't even have an engine. It's a big giant wheel down on deck two. Kids on the ship. Kids so bad. I was watching a talk show, children out of control. 11, 12 years old on national TV, cursing at their mother. That's terrible. I'm mean, when I was 12 years old, my mother told me to wash the dishes. I didn't wash no dishes. Suck my teeth, roll my eyes, and turn my head. Two weeks later, when I came to at the hospital, <laughs> those dishes were still sitting there waiting for me, too. Play no crap back then. Even no timeouts. Timeout. What is that? How about a little knockout for their behind? Not about that. You know, kids today, they call 911 and turn you in. <laughs> Wish somebody, somebody had told me about that when I was a kid. My father been like, oh, you don't call 911? Well, there's the phone. It hears you. <laughs> now, if you think you can make it from here to the phone, <laughs> before I make it from here to your behind, go, go. call the police on me and an ambulance for yourself. Okay, go, go. I'm gonna blame the children, because they're children. Children are gonna get away with anything you let children get away with. Sometimes when they're bad, I blame us the adults, because all we do now is give them labels. Oh, he's not bad. He's ADD. See, he don't know, it's not his fault. He ADD, ADD. Ain't nobody have ADD back in the day. You know what took care of ADD? A B-E-L-T, that's what took care of that. That spells belt, okay, so keep up with the show. There's an old African adage, goes like this, takes a whole community, raise a child pri properly. It used to be like that. It used to be anybody in the neighborhood who knew you, if they saw you do wrong, they was allowed to whoop your behind. I remember once I threw a snowball at a bus. Yep, she saw me do it, she whooped my behind. She told lady to live across the street from me, she whooped my behind. <laughs> the woman told my mother whooped my behind, told my father, my father called the bus driver up. He came up and got some shots in. <laughs> and they weren't too particular about they'd swing at you back then either. Hair brushes, extension cords, that big fork and spoon that hung on the wall in the kitchen. She ain't never tossed no salads with them things. <laughs> tossed my behind around the living room, that's all she ever did. Anything she could find. She mad at you, she was in your room, she pick up a Hot Wheel track. What do you with that? <laughs> Everybody got to with a Hot Wheel track. Many a time I went to school with them orange parallel lines across my behind. <laughs> Ain't that about nothing? Give you a Christmas present and whoop your behind with it. Kids got too much. Nintendo, Super Nintendo, PlayStation 1, 2, 3, 4, Xbox, Dreamcast, Game Boy, GameCube, Wii, Switch is the new one. What system you got? Switch. New one, ain't you something? Thirteen. What system you got? Switch. I'm a lot of rich kids in here. How old are you? Seventeen. What system you got? Xbox. Yeah. Life is good while electricity is free. That's my mom talking. Yeah, we didn't have all them high-tech toys when we were kids. Most high-tech toy we had was Etch-A-Sketch. <laughs> That's it. You played with that game for hours. Hey, what are you making? Stairs. <laughs> oh man, I messed up. Hit the delete button. My sister had a toy called a Susie Homemaker Easy Bake Oven. Cooked by light bulb. Took a cake that big with a light bulb. I was high tech. 
and two little kids on the box staring into the oven, and right above their heads it said, watch a cake bake right before your eyes. Yeah, you know why Johnny couldn't read? But Johnny burnt his retinas out watching that damn cake back. <laughs> we had simple toys. Had to use a little imagination with our toys. We had Play-Doh. Ain't nothing more simple than a can of Play-Doh. Pop open a fresh can. <laughs> Everybody over 40 knows what a can of Play-Doh tastes like, too. I don't know when these kids got so weak. They're so weak now. Uh, I, I can't eat bread because bread has gluten and uh, if it hits my stomach, something, and then I get gassy. And... We grew up on the whitest of white bread ever. Wonder Bread. <laughs> Help build strong bodies 12 ways. I didn't know you could build a body strong way, but Wonder Bread would do that for you. We ate everybody on everything. We ate everything on, white, uh, on Wonder Bread, right? Give me a hell yeah if you ever ate peanut butter and jelly on Wonder Bread. <laughs> See that 13? Give me a hell yeah if you ever had, had a fried bologna sandwich on Wonder Bread. That's how we ate back then. Right, we just ate, we ate, we ate, came what it was. Put two things together. Give me a hell yeah if you ever ate spaghetti and hot dog. Yeah. Two things don't even belong together, but we ate those. Right. Now, we ain't get no choice. Kids got choices for dinner. What would you like for dinner, honey? No choice. You can eat or you can start. And whatever they put in front of you, you better eat. You had to eat it because there were children in China starving. <laughs> Helped out, I guess, if you ate your green beans. That's the way it was. We, were just, you know, we had, we had television was better back in the day. You know, we, you know, I, you know I got those Saturday morning cartoons. That's the only thing that kept us in the house was Saturday morning cartoons. Right? We had great TV. We had a dog that could talk. <laughs> Massive. <laughs> what? Timmy's in the barn. <laughs> and the barn's on fire. About a year later, they doubled down on that show and gave us a dolphin that could talk. <laughs> Flipper. <laughs> Timmy's in the barn. And change the scripts on. I'll tell you what, I don't blame some of you kids for being messed up. Hey, you know, all, every time you watch com uh, TV, there's a commercial that's about a drug commercial. That's how all, all these kids are. Drug commercials that are gonna kill you is Zentex, right for you. Ask a doctor, do you need Zentex? Zentex may cause loss of hearing, <laughs> hair loss, tooth decay, gout. Ain't no leakage. So, man, that's a lot to cure a runny nose, I'll tell you that. We had drug commercials back in the day, but they didn't kill us. Watch this, 13. Plop, plop, fizz, fizz. was better. We used to have that fashion candy necklace. <laughs> Little beads on the street, eat some, snap it out. <laughs> eat some more, snap it out. <laughs> then your neck would get wet from spitting saliva on your mouth. That little wax bottle with the juice in it. <laughs> that, that much juice. Ooh, that was refreshing. Mm. You ever have a Red Bull 17? Yeah. We didn't need Red Bull back in our day. We had Pixie Sticks. <laughs> Big straw full of sugar. Man, I once ran from New York to Connecticut in six minutes. Oh, remember this one? Remember those big red wax lips? Remember that? Yeah. That wasn't a big seller in my neighborhood, but... Uh, <laughs> Not to 
ourselves out on that. I think we were the last generation to go outside and play. We ran around the street till the street light came on and that was a signal for everybody to go in the house. Every game we played was a running game. Hide and go seek was a running game. Tag was a running game. Sometimes you step out of the house, you in the middle of the game, you didn't even know you was playing. <laughs> 13, you ever played cootie stick? No? Somebody in the neighborhood would get a stick like this and then they would rub it around in the little dog crap. <laughs> And then they would chase you all over the neighborhood that way. <laughs> you step out the house, somebody yell, Cootie said, Cootie said, ah, ah! <laughs> Every game, every game we played was a running game. RCK was a running game. You ever play RCK 13? You ever Girls run, you chase them. If you could catch one, you could kiss them. RCK, run, catch, and kiss. You know what you learned at 13 playing that game? The cute girls are really, really fast. Because all the ugly girls run down the street, oh, I fell. Oh. fall in this game. <laughs> you just run up on them. Oh, excuse me. Gotta go. <laughs> 13, what's your favorite holiday of the year? Christmas. Of course it's Christmas. Because your parents are rich. <laughs> Let me tell you something. When I was your age, we didn't always get a Christmas. Christmas was amazing. Christmas was a sometime. So the best holiday in my neighborhood was Halloween. If you go to anybody's house, say the three magic words, you get candy. Big bars of candy. Now, if you was a rookie Halloweener, you walk around the neighborhood with that little plastic pumpkin. You, know, you didn't even know what you was doing yet. But if you was a professional Halloweener, you carry a pillowcase. That's right. Look like a burglar running through the neighborhood. Like I said, we were broken poor, so nobody's gonna get a whole lot of money for a one-day costume. That's just crazy. So everybody in my neighborhood went as the same thing. Everybody went as a ghost. You get the sheet off your bed, cut through cut. Man, you had a costume. All kinds of ghosts running around that neighborhood. Ghosts with stripes. Ghosts with flowers. Fitted ghosts. Ghosts with race cars. Ghosts with pee stains. <laughs> you show up at the door, and they're like, ooh, you stink. I'm a pissed off ghost. It's a different time. Thirteen? What kind of car are your mama drive? The Chevy what? Ford Fusion, oh, okay, Ford Fusion. Oh, I'm, oh, excuse me, what kind of car do your mama drive? Ford Fusion. My, my, my neighbors have two children, two, that's it. And they have a 16 passenger minivan, two children. They've got five televisions in a 16 passenger minivan for two children. And I saw my neighbor, you know what? You would have put three, three TVs out on the lawn, so they don't miss anything as they walk up into that car. <laughs> you got a car, you got kids? You need a car like my father had. And my father had the biggest car ever made in American history. Or bigger than a cattle. A brand new 1967 Ford LTD Country Squire Station Wagon. So big, they didn't even have wood paneling on like most station wagons. Had two full-grown redwoods strapped to your side. <laughs> and my mother and my father sat up front. My brother, my sister, my brother, they sat in the middle. And they're way in the back. And they seat that face in the other direction. This is my chair. 
Anywhere we ever went, any trip we ever took, this is where I had to sit. The only time I knew where we was going is when we backed out the driveway. Are we there yet? That was my job. Any trip we ever went on, it was my job. Every five minutes I asked, are we there yet? No. Quit asking. Well, how the heck am I supposed to know? I can still see the house from here. Now every summer my father got into a said that we had to go see America. Two weeks out of every year, go see America. Get out there in the open roads, get out there in those super highways, people waving at me all the damn time. <laughs> Halfway through every trip, my father could never understand why people would drive by him and give him dirty looks. <laughs> what are you doing back there? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Playing. You hey, wave at that, buddy boy. Hey, yeah, one for you too, happy motoring, get lost. <laughs> now up there with my brothers and sisters when they had all sorts of games to play with. Coloring books, connect the dots, toys, puzzles, all sorts of things to do up there. I was back here with my father's tools. <laughs> I had to make up things to play with. Hey. There's a roll of dad's good tape. Well, I bet I can have a lot of fun playing with that. You know, we used to go to the drive-in movie theater a lot. <laughs> the whole family be watching Bambi by Disney. I'm watching Bambi and Eddie. <laughs> All right, Bertie, come on up here. I don't want you. I don't want you. I don't want you uh, walking over leaving here with a. Bottle of champagne, that's just wrong. Come here, stand right there. Keep it. Stand right, no wait, come here, stand, stand right here. Who's that with you, is that your brother? How old is he? 50, come on up here, you two, come up here. Stand right there, stand right next to your brother. I'm gonna give you guys the old school test. You'll find out where you are, all right? And I want you to win, so all you have to do is answer one question right. Just get one question right, all right? Here's what you're gonna win. You're gonna win, uh, oh, he's gonna win some pixie sticks. <laughs> A wax bottle with the juice in it. You win this candy. What's this called? Dots. Yeah, yeah, right? This, these are like little half circles on cement, of cement on paper. That's all it is. You're gonna wind up eating more paper than candy, I'm telling you right now. It's like, it's like high fiber candy. Okay, so that's what you're gonna win. Alright, okay? So all you have to do is get one question right. That's all you have, right? Okay. Alright, here's the first question. Alright, let me see. Okay, here we go. What's this? A pencil? No, 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 you're so close. This is what we used to use to rewind our cassettes. Alright, 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 so okay, that's one. Alright, so this is easy. This is easy. This one's easy. What's this? You know what that is? What's that? See that? Quarter? A nickel, a nickel. <laughs> yeah. Well, you won't have to save up college money for one of them. <laughs> Say a nickel? No, it's so close, it's close. This is the exact amount of weight we needed to put our record arm to keep the needle from sticking. <laughs> All right, okay, come on now, come on. Get one of these. This, all right, here's the easy way. I got one. This is easy, because, all right. What is this? You've been in your dad's garage. What's this? This is easy. Tooth puller? <laughs> wow. I mean, I know the healthcare system bad, but really? A tooth puller? 
What is that, 15? <laughs> Toothpaste? No. No, you're so close. Pliers? Mm, that's close. This is what we used to use to change the channel on the TV. <laughs> back in our day. We ain't nobody have a remote. You with a remote. You be down the street playing. They call you in the house. In this house! You're dead? Turn TV to channel 7. <laughs> Alright, come on now. There's only three left. Come on, I want you to get these. There's three left. Alright, this is easy. This one's easy. This is easy. Because I mean, you've been to the store with your mom. You gotta know what this is. What's this? It's easy. What's that? A paper bag. No, no. You're so close, though. This is a book cover. <laughs> you do know what this is. A book, okay, all right. This, uh, this is the original Google. That's what this is. This is actually, this is the C book from the Encyclopedia Britannica. Remember that? Everybody has Encyclopedia Britannica or World Book Encyclopedia. That's what they have. So you have to write a report on Christopher Columbus, 30 kids in the class. Everybody turned in the same exact report. <laughs> All right, I don't know. Sometimes I get in trouble, so I have to say this. There's a black woman over there looking at me funny. This, this is also how you can season your chicken. That's truly old school right there. All right, come on now. We only got two questions left. Come on, because I want you to get this. All right, come on now. This is easy. This one's easy. What's this? What's this? What's this? A phone book. No, no. No, you're so close. This is a booster chair. Taking you back, huh? Yeah. You only saw this twice a, a year. You saw this on Thanksgiving and Christmas at your grandma's house. I know, because I still have to use one. All right. All right, come on now. There's only one question left. Okay, so ask somebody, because I don't want you to ask somebody if you need to answer on this one. All right, all right, all right guess this one, I want you to get it. And this is the last question. What is this? son uh, for a watch for Christmas. Asking for a watch. I don't know what time it is. Got me an eye watch. Let's see. I can, uh, I can listen to my music. I can watch Netflix. It tells me how well I slept. It tells me how far I ran. Let's see what else is this? Oh, I can make a I can make a phone call like Dick Tracy. Dick Tracy? Nothing. Oh. Let's see. Oh, I can make a reservation with Avis. App. Uh, I can tell you the temperature in different countries. I can. Oh, it's got a heartbeat monitor, so I can send my heartbeat to somebody. I guess they put that in there so your kids wouldn't have to visit you. Today, somebody asked me what time it was. I have no idea. <laughs> I know it's 60 degrees and raining in Paris. I know that. 